All right, this is lesson 4-7, more word problems with parabolas. So we're gonna talk about something called projectile motion. Okay, projectile motion is like you throw something in the air vertically or kind of depending on how you throw it. But basically, if I threw a ball in the air, its path, and it's really not its path, but it's its height after time can be written as this, right? The ball goes up and then as the ball goes up, the ball goes down, okay? So if I want to figure out where the ball is at in terms of height, I need some quarter, it's according to time, okay? So the longer the ball is in the air that it's going to be going, and eventually after a certain amount of time, it's going to come down. If I throw it up, this should be basically your halfway point, right? So your vertex, okay, let me just pretend this is the point, you know, 5, 12, okay? And if this down here is in seconds. Okay, and this is in feet. All right, what that says is basically after, to get to the top, it'll take five seconds, and the top is 12 feet, and that's in the middle. So when it comes to a projectile motion or something being thrown, we wanna know a couple of things. How long does it take to get to the top, and how long until it hits the ground? You guys get that? So we wanna think about, okay, how long does it take to get to the top? That's simply the vertex. And then when it hits the ground, that is simply the x-intercept. And these are things that we can find, right? So all we need to realize, if it asks you when does it hit the ground, you find the x-intercepts. One of them is going to be zero or negative, and that one we ignore, right? And one of them is going to be positive. It's got to be the positive one. If they ask you how long till, you, till it gets to the top, that's your x-coordinate. they ask you what is the max height, that's your y-coordinate. Right, so let's do an example. You hit a golf ball off the ground. The height of the ball for t seconds is given by this particular parabola. So you can see this is in the standard form because I have a t to a power of 1, right? t to a power of 1. It is written backwards. So this is actually a downward facing parabola because the value in front of the t squared is negative. Okay? So the first things first, let's find the vertex. Okay, because they want two things here. So this is what they want. They want um, how long to the top height. Okay, probably a better word is max. Okay, how long does it take to get to the top? They want B. They want to know what is the max height and C, when does it hit the ground, okay? So we gotta find all three of those things. So first things first, let's go ahead and find the, uh, <coughs> the vertex. So I'm gonna say T, because it's not X, right? T equals negative B, now that's my B term right there, right? Negative B, over 2 times a, a is negative 3, right? So that equals negative 18 over negative 6, and that's positive 3. So t equals 3 seconds, okay? So I want to find my vertex, okay? There you go. So now let's go ahead and find the h, and the h is uh, 18 times negative 3 minus 3 times negative 3 squared, okay? Uh, 18 times 3 is 54, so that's negative 54, okay? Um, minus 3 times, now I misplayed here somewhere. Oh, positive 3, sorry positive 3. Okay. So that's positive 54 times positive 3 squared. Okay. So I'm running out of room here. I'm going to say uh, h equals 54 times 3 times 9. So 54 minus 27. Okay. And that should be 27. So my height is 27. Okay. So A, the question is how long is it to get to the top height or the max height? 
okay? What I would actually say is, is going to be three seconds, okay? What is the maximum height? That's my Y for my vertex, and that's going to be 27. I didn't really give you a unit, so we'll just leave it at 27, okay? <clears throat> And when does it hit the ground? Well, we haven't figured that out yet. So let's go ahead and do that. To figure out when it hits the ground, we have to find the intercepts, okay? So I'm gonna say, all right, the original equation was h equals 18t minus 3t squared. So when it hits the ground, you gotta remember the height is zero, so I can make h zero. Um, and this is a quadratic, right? So I have to factor and set the factors equal to zero. So I get, I, in this case, all I got is a difference of squares, which is 3t. And that leaves me with uh, 6 minus negative t. 6 minus t. So I say 3t equals zero and 6 minus t equals zero. Okay. Divide both sides by three and t equals zero. <coughs> Subtract 6 to both sides, divide by negative 1, and t equals 6. So if I drew a quick little sketch of this parabola, just kind of get a picture of it, okay? It hits the ground at 0, 0, pretty much, and then it hits it at 6, okay? And the question is, when does it hit the ground after we throw it? Well, this is the starting point. So I don't want that one. So the answer is, when does it hit the ground? After six seconds. Okay. After six seconds. Okay. All right. Let's do one more example. So now in this case, it says, you are standing on a wall 70 feet high and throw a ball into the air. The height in t seconds is given by h equals negative 2t plus 4t plus 70. So it's the exact same type of question, but we're standing 70 feet on a wall, so you can see the formula looks a little bit different. You can see kind of where the 70 comes in. But same thing, find the vertex, find the intercepts. The process remains the same. So a, right, okay, a is, um, let's see, how long to reach max. Okay, so we're going to find the x of the vertex. So we're going to go ahead and say um, t equals negative b, which is a 4, all over 2 times negative 2, right? And then that equals negative 4 over negative 4, that equals 1. Okay, so we didn't throw, this thing wasn't in the air very long. Okay, so the x coordinate, but in this case t, is 1. Now let's go ahead and find uh, b, which from the last question was, what is max height? Okay. So we're going to say h equals negative 2 times 1 squared plus 4 times 1 plus 70. So that equals negative 2 plus 4 plus 70. And we're looking at 2 plus 70, and that equals 72. So the max height was 72, right? Let's just say this was in feet. Okay. So it looks kind of weird because it only traveled for a minute, but you got to remember we started higher up. Okay, we started higher up. So now let's go ahead and find out um, hits the ground, okay? So when does it hit the ground? That's when h is zero, so I gotta find the x-intercepts. Okay. So now I can factor. So I'm gonna say, okay, zero equals negative two times t squared minus two t minus 35. Um, and what I want to do is I don't even need that 2 in there, so what I could actually do is just divide everything by negative 2. 
and I get zero equals t squared um, minus two t minus thirty five. So I ask myself, okay, what multiplies to 35 and adds to 2? So that's going to be x, 7, 5. we got to get to a negative 2, so the 7 is negative. I set those equal to 0, and x equals negative 5, and x equals positive 7. So what I just figured out was these were, uh, I switched on out of habit, sorry, from t's to x's, but we're trying to figure out time here. Okay, so this is negative five seconds, and this is positive seven seconds, and so what we're gonna have to say is obviously that does not work, right? Can't have negative time, so it's gonna be seven, all right? So to kind of give you a picture on this one, to why, <clears throat> what you'll notice as you do these, it usually it seems like the height is halfway till it hits the ground, but this one was thrown a little bit weird, so let me show you how we got negative five. If I was to give you a picture on this one, it looked like this, basically. The parabola was like that. So you can see, because we started 70 feet up, right? That's how we got a negative, a negative intercept, and it wasn't at zero, zero. And then we got this positive one over here, okay? And then here's our vertex. So that's how you got that negative time. Because algebraically, it worked out, but in real life, we have to ignore the negative and that's where our positive is.